neither of the parties were well organized uh, back then and well intentioned, I may, I may say. Then the second period, which, 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 which lasts for 10 years, from 1995 to 2005, uh, it was a longer period, but both parties uh, came up with a clearer stance towards each other. The, the late prime minister once said, if we have five enemies, five arch enemies, uh, the sixth one is the private media. He said so officially in public. So you can see what kind of uh, attitude was developed uh, from the government side. Uh, pretty much the same was developed in the media side. Some of the uh, members of the private media were very ideological and very vocal. Uh, and sometimes, uh, I, I must say, uh, they are not constructive at all. Uh, Eskender played his own role here. He, he had three, four newspapers in this period. Uh, some of them were good. Some of them were not good at all. I was very critical to him, even without knowing him, of course. Uh, but again, the Eskender I met in 2007 and 2008 was a different one who took a lesson from his mistakes, I believe. Uh, I wish he had a chance to explain some of the mistakes committed in some of his newspapers, in some of the articles he published. He never wrote those articles, those, those articles, but I wish he had that chance. Uh, but in the meantime, running three newspapers was not an easy task. Uh, it was his wife who used to own those newspapers, and she was the editor-in-chief of one or two of them. Uh, Eskinder was a writer, a reporter, and an editor uh, for these newspapers. But still, he was very instrumental. And his contribution by bringing some new blood into the media was immense. And he, he really deserves a credit for that, among other newspaper uh, owners and editors, of course. Uh, and he also introduced a, a, a wider uh, sense of freedom of expression. Uh, there used to be articles, not only on his newspapers, of course, but there used to be articles very provocative. Uh, but for a country like Ethiopia, which, is, which was very important, because that was part of the experiment, part of the learning process, we cannot live with the articles that conform all our cultures, all our attitudes, and so on. So that was a new beginning, and that also really deserves a credit. Uh, during the 2005 uh, election, where uh, the country was at its highest uh, moment of political consciousness, I may say, uh, the private media was very instrumental particularly in presenting the opposition, because the government dominates the public media 100%. Uh, the opposition had nowhere to go. In addition to that, some of the private newspapers were officially support the, the opposition, one or the other uh, part of the opposition. So that was a very important experiment politically and uh, in terms of uh, the media experiment uh, in Ethiopia. Eskinder also played uh, a very important role in that, in that uh, period. I think, I think some of uh, the grudges, some of the serious grievances against Eskinder among some of the officials, the government officials, were developed since uh, those days, I believe. 